Hey everybody, it is Saturday here in Cypress, Texas. And uh, this morning I went to a swim meet. My girlfriend is a swim coach and she's got an extensive background, Olympic water polo player, got been in sports psychology her whole life. And she's, she's got these kids and I'm watching these kids and I'm watching them. I'm seeing there's something, there's something amiss here. What is it? What is it? They're anxious, they're fidgety, okay? And it occurred to me that, you know, every other kid in the country going to the pool swimming is is play. And, but these kids, it's work, right? It's serious business, all right? And then I'm thinking about what was different. Boxing, boxing is always serious, right? Because somebody would be punching you in the face, you got to shift the kids, the the young fighters' mind from instead of worrying about what the, the what their opponent's going to do to them, to what they're going to do to their opponent. Okay, Roy Jones Senior said, you know, they both think they're going to kick to the butt, and the first one that changes their mind loses. And then it got me thinking about uh, my uh, when I, I thought I wanted to be a teacher for a while, and I took a class on uh, early childhood development, and they said that uh, if you can get make it a game, make it play. They'll learn better. They'll they'll stay focused on it longer. And I'm like, oh, that's where the gamification comes from. You know, you heard talk about gamifying your business. I started thinking, well, what do we gamify your finances? So I, I looked up a, a video put on by um, Rocket Mortgage and had this couple that this guy was a website, you know, a game designer, him and his wife. And they start talking about it. It's really rudimentary, basic level stuff. And I'm like, what if my son is a, you know, graduated cum laude, top of his class in uh, computer science and um, at University of uh, West Florida, you know, um, and I'm like, wow, he could make a, a software that could make it a game like, like oh, the modern day monopoly, right? The... Uh, your real life monopoly, okay? And then I got to thinking about, you know, that's already in place. That's QuickBooks, okay? You can you can connect all of your accounts into QuickBooks so you don't have to, like, record every time you make a payment into your accounts or out of your accounts. It just does it, right? But it has everything, you know, what your bills are, um, you know, your debts, your expenses, for your home and for your business, it can all be in there, right? And you can see it all, right? And you can put your goals in and your, and um, so that's what does it. And when you put your focus on your finances, just like when you put your focus on your relationships, they get better, okay? And I'm like, oh, that's very interesting. And so that's the solution. So I got, I got, you know, one of my clients, He's a business owner. I'm like, you have QuickBooks? Get QuickBooks. Set it up. Well, he's got, you know, his accountant does, but he's going to have access to it. But just get in there and just totally, you know, you know, get make it, just go all out, trick it out. And uh, win your own real life game of Monopoly. All right. I've been thinking about that half the day. Hope that helps. Give me a call. Nine five six two five five zero zero six one. Ruben